Hello everybody and welcome back. Welcome to part 5 of our Ravel Level 5 Platinum Edition Limited Edition Search and Rescue Vessel. So where I'm at now is quite a difficult part. Um, I'm trying to put these side pieces on the top of the hull here. So here's what the other side looks like when it's off. So that one's still got to be put on the other side in here. Now, um, the difficult part with this is that there's no way of clamping it on because of the angle. Um, it's really difficult. And it only has, it has two little um, alignment tabs that fit in these little holes, which are a good idea because that gets the bend just right around the hole there. And then there's one more notch down the end here that will sit over and just holds it in place. Now the problem is that there's, there's a gap underneath pretty much the whole length of it. Um, yeah, so what I had to do was I've used some of the um, Thin CA by Icky Sticky. Uh, the reason is that this has um, superior wicking action, so it wicks into position rather than using my Loctite super glue, which has its good uses, but not for this. So what I did was I put a, a drop of it in that position where it goes in the tab there, and I put a lock a, put a bit in there, and then I've had to hold it in position. Now, I've only done this 10 minutes ago, so I've got to be a bit careful, but I've had to hold it in place for a good five minutes or so, so that I know that they were not going to move, and they've it's locked in there perfectly. Then what I did was I put as much even pressure with both my thumbs along the length of it, pressing down, so I can get as much of that gap gone as I can. And it's gone in really well. Um, there's a, there's, um, what I did was once that's glued, um, which I did, I ran a bead of uh, thin CA. In fact, actually, yes, I used the thin CA all the way along the edge there while I, and held it in place. And that's fine. And then what I did was I came back with some Tamiya thick cement. And I've run that also along there to fill the gaps. And if I look carefully, I can see that there's a slight little gap in there and in there that the glue hasn't filled. But all the way around there, the glue's filled it all and it looks nice. And you can't see anything on the other side. It, it looks, it, it's perfect join. Um, so what I will do is I will just do, I'll let the glue dry for a bit. Then I'll put another layer where the larger gap was here so that, that is covered with the glue and then i'll come along with some white some of the white paint and i'll paint the glue white um, not that i'm lighting the model in any way it's just that the gap's going to be less visible if you if the glue concealing the gap is white <laughs> anyway that's the plan that's what i'm going to do yeah uh, and so far it's turning out good but it's a slow process because i need to make sure this dries properly also, along under this section here, there's a gap that runs pretty much, I would say, from about here to here. But it's very, it's like half a millimetre. Once I put pressure down, it's almost gone. It's like half a millimetre. So once this end here is dried, I'll put the glue all the way along there. I'll put the CA along that. And then I'll come back and hold it down and let that set to fill that gap. And again, like I will with that, just brush some white paint on the inside to fill it. And uh, yeah, and that's the side will be done. Now, another thing with this too is that you've got to be very, very accurate. This side here needs to line up perfectly. On here otherwise we're going to have a seam on the front from what I can tell from test fitting um, it's a really nice fit it should be fine 
Um, plus on the inside, we have that metal plate that I painted white, as you would have seen in my previous video. I'll just grab it. You can see it in there, that white plate that goes on the inside. So that will cover any map, um, uh, any seam line joining the two pieces on the inside. And on the outside, I think there's a little piece of photo etch that covers the hole uh, on there as well. Um, which I forgot to paint because that'll have to go on there too. All right, so progressing well. Um, I was concerned about this being awkward to fit because you can't clamp it anywhere. Um, but once you get those little points done and it's held in position, then you can work on the rest of the the rest of it. All right, so uh, I'll get back onto this. I'm going to get this side done and all of this side done. But also, um, it's important to test fit the floor because there's a little raised section in there where the floor sits on top of for the for this front deck. And it's got to sit on there and it's got to sit in there perfectly because we don't want any gaps between it and the whole uh, side there. So what I will do is I'll be placing the deck in and then test fitting this side and seeing how well that sits in there with the deck. And then we'll be fine to glue that because I'm fairly certain this deck that shows on the instruction goes in after these two are put on. So I'm not going to have any problem sliding it into there in position. I just want it to be a nice fit as, as, as we do. All right, so I'll get on to this and we'll come back before I fit that deck. We'll have a look at the deck too, the finished result of my stuff up in spraying them. And I want to thank everybody in last week's episode who put all their suggestions in the comments and corrected my issue with what I obviously did wrong, which was, well, I'll explain to you when we have a look at the deck shortly. Um, so yeah, um, to anybody who's new and just seeing this for the first time, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you get notified of each video as they come out, which is every week. And uh, give us a thumbs up at the end if you like the video and, um, and comments are welcome as usual. And again, thank you for all the comments in last week's videos. Um, so yeah, go back to the beginning of this playlist and you can see this whole build right from the unboxing and right through until we are up to now, which is, uh, what did I say it was? Five, we're into part five of the series. All right, I'll be back. Hello, welcome back. So let's have a look. I finally got both sides of this, uh, these sections connected onto the hull here. So you can see that's all going on nicely. It's not much room. This thing is pretty big. We've got both sides uh, firmly glued on. There you go. And again, the camera seems to be showing them looking more yellow, but they're actually orange. But anyway, so now, now that they're on, um, I also had to do this little piece here which will sit on the stern here, it sort of sits inside the back in there. And then, uh, and then that section of deck will sit down on top of that hold. Well, I'll glue that in place, but that's supposed to go in there. So I painted that up. So what we'll do now is um, We'll go and have a look at the next step, which is putting the decks in. And we'll just oh, grab the decks and we'll have a look at them. We'll be back in a second. Okay, so here's the rear deck. And it's all completed. Now, as you can see, it's got that scuffed look. Now, it's actually quite smooth because um, I sanded it back and... Uh, left it with that finish so it looks like there's plenty of uh, boots have been walking around on that now also in here in the back here this is where the other little boat comes up and gets held in the back of there 
Now there's these sort of rollers on the bottom that I haven't finished yet. They need to be done white. Um, but I'm, I'm guessing that they're also going to be quite scuffed up a bit because as the little boat comes up onto that, it rolls along those rollers. So they're going to be dirtied up a little bit. Down each side of here, this is a chrome, like a metal plate. And I'll be painting that. That probably will be one of the next things I'll be doing. So I'll paint both sides of those. Um, in here also was a couple of little pieces. Um, show you on the instructions. Uh, oops, sorry. Were well, these ones here, K256. See? And they sit sort of either side, four on either side. And they're colored, um, they're a, a sort of a chrome dark iron color, or chrome color really. So basically the same color as what I did around the side of the ship. So that's what I've painted them. And then along the top where the M is, is a, a sort of a flat, a black, which I'll just hand paint on the top of those. Now I'll grab those pieces because I've just um, airbrushed them just now and I'll show you um, how I managed managed to do them. Okay. Um, yeah, back in a second I'll get them. Okay, so these are the little pieces. So I know they're very tiny, but what I've done is, and thanks to Jeff Donahue and... Uh, who suggested for, glue, for spraying tiny pieces like this, rather than using, you know, bloody Tamiya tape or blue tack to try and hold them in place while you spray them, he was saying on one of his videos to get some wire. So I got 0 0.3 millimeter wire here, just bought some like that. And then I used a 0.3 mil drill bit and just drilled into the bottom of the piece that can't be seen when it's in place. And then with a bit of touch of super glue, just touch the wire in there to hold it. And you end up with that. And it's easy to spray. You can, no problems at all. And, and they're dry. And there we go. There's eight of them all sitting there. I did them like, 15 minutes ago, so they'll be dry in another 10 minutes. But uh, yeah, great idea. So uh, thank you, Jeff, for your for your little tip there. Um, that'll come in very very useful because you know when you put these things on a little like I used to put them on. Let me show you. Like I used to have chopsticks. I bought a packet of cheap chopsticks, and I stick show you little bits of blue tack on there like that and then i'd stick my part on there but it would it would never be completely flush and you'd never get it perfectly because you know you're trying to get a nice coat of what you want to paint around and particularly if you need to paint the underside whereas this even though i didn't have to paint the underside it wouldn't matter i still could and then all I would do is just, you know, in this case, I'll just pull these out because they're not in there very far. Or you just clip them off flush and you'd never know there was there's a hole under there. But uh, yeah, great way for um, spraying. So these little pieces, I'll, I'll give it another 15 minutes or so and then I'll just do a little black, as they're supposed to be, um, line along the top of them. And they'll be able, they'll put those aside in my in a little plastic container and um, and they will go on that part of the deck after I've painted that silver underneath. And that will finish that. But that's getting a bit ahead because now I'm at the point where step six is now done. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier in the video, um, but I did put the clear windows in position because once these decks go down... Um, they'll actually be under the deck line, so I won't be able to get under there to put them in. So I've put them in now. And the reason I was leaving them out late, I did mention this, was because later on when I'm doing a clear coat over the whole ship, 
the clear coat on any clear plastic is going to leave it's not going to be clear anymore it's going to leave um well you don't want to paint anything um so on the clear so what i'll do is i'll use maybe blue tack or i do have some liquid um uh what do you call it the liquid um mask that's the word i'm after liquid mask which i'll just dab on each window um and let that dry before i clear coat the whole ship because there'll be other glass windows on this ship as well so all right so that's done now i'll just quickly put that aside and i'll show you the front deck so yeah like i was saying this is done here now so step six and get ticked off i think that's what i'm doing i'm ticking them not circling them yep so step six is ticked off all the, done step seven now is putting all these decks on exciting part <laughs> uh, and now i'll just quickly show you what I meant to do before the four deck and there it is there now i'm not it's not quite as scuffed up as the rear so i may um just give this a little bit more of a wet sand just to get it a little bit more scuffed up like the rear um but um, I sort of expect that this front is not going to get uh, as walked on as the back. All right. Because obviously, you know, there's just not going to be people up here quite as often. Uh, now, I have left some parts here that I've touched with the paper and it's taken the paint off. Little corners on the hatch there and bits on here and I'm going to leave them like that I may touch them up just a little bit but I, we're just going to leave that there as a weathered look I mean I'm sure the crew um, keep this ship looking really nice and in good nick um, but you know I also expect there's going to be some wear and tear on there as well all right now let's uh, I'll put that aside and let's uh, bring the ship down and we'll start seeing about uh, fitting some of these decks. Although I need to paint that bit in there like I mentioned earlier. I'll go do that now. Okay, I'll be back very, very shortly. Oh, and I might also mention um, Jeff Donahue's channel. I'll leave his link down in the description below. Highly recommend go and check him out. Fantastic. Brand new. Recently started YouTubing. And uh, building his models, he's got a, a few done already. Um, and uh, great guy, great guy, and uh, great to watch. So I suggest uh, click the link down there in the description and go take a look at his channel. All right, uh, back shortly, I'll get this done. Hello, back again. And uh, as you can see, I'm slowly progressing through this. Um, I've stuck the small piece on the back there that I showed earlier. And then I've put this deck in. So this is the rear deck sitting in now. I've got it clamped on either side because there was a little bit of a, where the hull itself was bowing out a little bit. Nothing major. Just want to get it down in there tight. So that's all good. Um, I've used the uh, Icky Sticky Medium CA glue um, specifically because this one has a gap filling formula. So it's really good for doing those areas around the side like that um, so that's gone on really well it it when you're laying it down you actually see it run along and fill the gap as it goes um, and drying completely clear which is good so I'm going to leave this for a good two hours I think just to be sure um, before I go to the next stage, which will be, uh, I think we've got to put the, it's a little bit confusing, these instructions. If you look here, for example, they're numbered in the order you do it. So obviously number one was the small piece on the back, which we, which I've done. Number two uh, is the top of that piece going into this deck, 
which you assume means that the deck goes on, that rear deck, which is what I've just done. Number three looks like this small piece in here goes on, uh, which I'm not sure about um, because... Uh, yeah, because even though it says number three, that bit goes on. Then four, the front deck goes down and on there. Um, but then we go back to five and it's showing the piece that we've already put on. Um, so a little bit confusing there. And of course, then there's six, which I think is just showing this whole piece here. I'm just checking. Up here, they've got three as well. Like there's just in here, for example, there's no other numbers other than just number three pointing to the hull. So maybe that goes back to step three. No, because step three putting the the propellers and and so forth on. So I don't know what that three means. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, what I'll do is I'll test fit, <coughs> excuse me, so I'll lay this deck in there and see if there's enough room to slide this piece underneath which will sit in here. That goes in between there and I've got, we made that piece up a few videos back and there it is it's sitting in its container there, that's the one with the two little Zodiac life rafts on there and the doors. That's going to go in there, so if that fits um, up underneath, um, like <laughs> after this top deck goes on, then no problem. Otherwise, I'll put that in next and then we'll put the deck down. That's probably going to be the best way to do it. But again, I'll make sure everything fits and I'll test fit it all first at least three times. <laughs> you know what happens with me occasionally, um, even though I've test fitted things. Uh, things can end up, oh geez, I've put it upside down, backwards and inside out. We don't want that happening. All right. Um, yes, I'll come back again and we'll have a bit, another look. One second. Yes, one second for you. It'll be about two hours for me. I'll go have lunch. Okay, hello, welcome back. So it hasn't been a couple of hours, I lied. It's only been five minutes. Um, I've got this piece out, which is for there, and I'm just test fitting it, see, so it's going to slide in there like that, and then these two will just come in like that, so what I'll need is another one of these clamps to run across there and just hold that in position like that, and it does fit perfectly well under the next deck that goes on top of that, so that's not a problem, so what I'll do is I'll I'll clamp this and uh, get this piece glued in. And uh, yeah, I'm just impatient and uh, I want to get this part of it done because it looks really cool. Um, so yeah, I'll get that piece glued in now. We'll come back and have another look in a sec. Hello, welcome back. So there it is. The deck's glued on. Got the front deck here done it's just holding some of the bits on the side there they all went in fine all good um, I did end up putting that on after I put in that wall underneath so I had to glue it in first but that's fine and it is all the way back to there so I'm very happy with that I'm just going to leave this now for quite a few hours um, particularly this part here um, because I had to sort of bend the plastic in a bit to get that to fit in there properly. Um, just want to make sure that's secure and to line up the wall underneath. You can see, then I'll be able to see in there. But yeah, I lined that up pretty much perfectly under there. So that'll be good. And uh, yeah. So I'm just going to leave that like that for a while whilst I um, have a look at what's next. But going by instructions, that's pretty much all of step seven done. Um, the order of these I figured out 
I sort of figured it out. So that number five being larger than the other numbers meant that that was put together in step five. And I'll go back over to step five. There it was there. So that's what that was about. Step six was obviously the step before when we finished the hull. That was step six, so they're referring to that. I don't know the point of it really. Um, it just sort of confuses things a bit. So in reality, there's only four steps to putting this, putting this together, this whole part. Step one was putting the small piece on the back. Step two was um, putting the deck down on top of it. Step three was putting in this piece. And step four was the forward deck. And that was it. And that's all been done. So now we'll have a quick peek. Step uh, from seven to step eight. Now, as you saw, I've already got these ones painted up. And they're all dry now, including the little black on the top of them. So they're in like silver and black. They're all done. They just need to be glued on, um, which is on that rear deck section there. And that will complete step eight. So we'll most probably get that out of the way now. And then I'll be on to step nine here, which takes us on to uh, some railings, it looks like. I haven't even got those. I haven't even looked at those yet. And then obviously step 11 goes on to further railings. And I know that there's a lot of bits of photo etch involved needed for that. Um, so I'll have to go and check our photo etch instructions to make sure we don't miss anything. Um, and I'm thinking there's, there was some also these little pieces that are all for on the deck that we did. And I don't see why they can't be glued down on the deck yet. I'm just going to go back and see if there was anywhere in here where they told me to make those pieces and put them on. Uh, no, they haven't. That's because we're not up to them yet. So I actually did them from the photo edge because they all needed required photo edge on them. So they were in uh, step three of the photo edge, step three, four, and five. So. Yeah, I've got that figured. All right, no problem. So they can stay off for a while until we get to them. It looks like down here in, we go to step 13 and 14, that's where they've been done and put together. We've already done that. This one I'm not sure about. I don't think I've put those together yet. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> and it'll be the railings. So what I'll do is I'll set this aside and let this dry and... Um, I won't put these on just yet. Oh, well, yeah, I'll do it while it's in front of me. I'll glue them on while it's in front of me. Move it all out of the way off the bench aside, and we'll start having a look at what needs doing for these railings. All right, sounds like a plan. Okay, back shortly. All right, welcome back. So I've got the decks on, and I've moved on to step nine and ten which are a couple of little railings uh, that sit on the very rear of the deck. And I put them together, they're quite simple, it's just two pieces like that. See better there. Yeah. So there's one for each side. Put them in a container there. Um, now they need to be painted. There's two little vertical pieces in there that they want painted the same silver sort of grey that the strip along the outside of the ship is. So I'll, I'll do that after I've done the white, painted white. But I thought, well, I'll get all the railings together since I've got to all paint them the same colour. So there's also this piece here. And this will be just one side of the uh, deck I'm working on at the moment because that's what it says in step 11. <laughs> do what I'm told. So... I'm putting this one here, D40, and then I'll do D20. So that runs along here, and then there's another one there, but I've got a feeling that one could be photo etch. Check. Um, and as for these, 
they have a little bit of plastic in between, like a little uh, join, I, th I guess it is. Um, and there's photo etched to replace, well, not replace, but to cover over the top of that. So here it is here. Well, this is the photo etch. So fortunately, it's on the nice um, proper photo etch rather than that hard steel. Those are all the pieces there. See, I've taken one off, and they just bend in two places in the center upwards to go over the top, as this one, I've just sat it on there to see what it looks like. There's one there. Uh, pretty simple. And they go at those particular points. There's another one there. So I'm, I'm guessing there's like joins in the railing. Uh, maybe they open or they lift up or something. I'm not sure. There'll be another one there which connects on to will be that one there. So that'll connect to there. All right. So what I'll do is I'll, before I go gluing this on there with that photo etch piece, I'll just test fit the location for all these to go down to the deck and make sure everything's going to sit properly and line up and all go in as well. Um, so there's 10 of these little photo etch pieces which I'm taking off the uh, photo etch now and then I'll, and I'll bend them all. I'll do enough for both sides even though it's only telling me in step 11 to do one side. That's everything else is done. I will check on that. I'm fairly sure that may be photo etched on that. I'll we'll see. Um, there's this piece here, number 12, which there's four of them, and I have no idea what they are. So obviously it wouldn't be anything here. Um, there's these which we've already got made up, so they're done. These I think I have to make up yet. I didn't make them up before. These here, number 12s, four of them let's have a quick look ahead well 12 so no doesn't have anything there for them this is just a repeat of the other step with the railings on the other side so we'll do all that as well and here there's quite a few bits and pieces going on the deck here in step 16 um, but still no reference to step step 12 in the four of these. And isn't it, if I'm looking for step 12. See, these point to the previous steps. There's nothing there from where they go further. And no, I don't, still don't see what, what those things were I just made up, would, would be making up. Or where they go and we're getting fairly long way through uh, yeah I'm really up into step 45 now and I still haven't seen oh here we go so uh, uh, some things you got to wonder hey so there we go way up we're only on step um, say 11 at the moment so those two pieces, or four pieces there, we've got to make four of. We don't actually use those and put them on the model up until, where did I see it? There, step 47. And I actually go, uh, looks like under the helicop helicopter pad. That's way forward ahead in the view. You would think that they would just put a little thing here in the corner to make up these two pieces rather than refer back all the way from something you made in step 12. Anyway, not a problem. This is this is where it's important to quadruple check everything you do, um, uh, particularly with photo etch, because you don't want to stick on something you suddenly realize it needed some photo etch added. But anyway, I will do them and I'll put them away in a container and I'll label them and then six months time. No, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it won't be six months time, but yeah, down the track, a fair way down the track, we'll actually get to use them, which makes me start to wonder when they'll get used. 
anyway, we'll stick with the sequence. So I'll stop talking and complete these and we'll come back and have a look when they're done because it looks like at least they can go pretty much straight on the ship. Yeah, they'll be able to go straight on. But, of course, we've got to paint them. Okay, back shortly. Hey, everybody. So, um, like I said, we're back. And as you can see on the deck in the front there is all the ribbing that goes inside the... In there, I've got that all super glued in. Uh, it fits quite well. A little bit tight. That's why the clamps are in, but... That should be fine. I've test fitted the other side so that these ones here will fit on the other side. Not a problem. That's all sorted. Now, while that's drying, and I do want to leave that for a while. So like I said, it was a bit of a effort to get them in, so it needs to be permanently stuck in there. Um, what I want to do now is is start on some of these um, barrels here, which I guess are probably more life rafts. Um, so there's two of them that need to be made. There's also a bit of photo etch to go on these as well. So I'll do that. And while I'm doing that, it's because the railings are all painted up. So I undercoated them, I put the white on them, and they're all drying, including the strip of photo etch that actually runs all the way around the top of this here. So that's painted. Um, I want to make sure they're all dried properly because they've got to be handled and I don't want to scratch them up um, And if, while I'm trying to glue them down. And again, they've been test fitted. I test fitted all the railings. Everything's going to go on really well. So, yeah, in the meantime, I'll get on to uh, these barrels here. So there's two of those. And I think they're the ones that, oh no, there they are there. So it's only um, a few steps ahead where they get put on here. There's the two barrels there. And all this part here, most of these are already made up. I haven't made that yet. So I'm guessing that must be uh, somewhere make, which it is not, unless that's just, yeah, it's a single piece, okay which looks like uh, the anchor goes around that. Now, I noticed that the didn't come with an anchor chain for the model, um, but I'll, probably I have a spare anchor chain lying around, so we'll see how we go. I might be able to put something and wrap something around on that and, and see how that looks. All right, so, yeah, I'll get on with this. The next time I come back and have a look, hopefully... Um, the railings will be on, those will be fitted, and I'll probably have these all done with the photo etch on them. There's not much photo etch. Um, in fact, we have a look at our thing here. I think that's it there. There's two of those. Um, see that? So there's like two straps around them that are made of photo etch. And... Uh, I think that's it. That might be it there too. I'm not sure. I'll double check. I'm pretty sure that's them. Yeah. So that shouldn't be too hard. I've done that before when I did those other ones. All right. Once again, back shortly. Hey, welcome back again. So, as you can see here, uh, I've started on getting some of the railings going on here. Get that so bloody big. Here we go. So I'm putting those on. I've put the piece that sits on there on. That went on well. And then as you can see, the ribbing under the front there is on is in place on both sides see that there it is there just about to take those clamps off because they should be dry on this side now now 
I've also, you see here, done these two little, I guess they're life rafts in here. Um, I put the photo etch on there. If you can see how small that is there. There you go, there's our photo etch. Um, I don't got to paint them. They're actually black. The, the stand that they're on is white, but they're going to be black. So I'll paint those up. And uh, when I've done that side of the railing, the next step will be this side. I'm actually doing it in reverse because I'm waiting for this part to dry. So I jump to step 15 for this. Then I'll go back to step 11 for the other side. And then we can tick off uh, that one as well. So that'll be done on step 11. Um, those are done. Obviously, the bits of railing are done. We'll tick that off. Um, that was done a, lot, a long time earlier because there was a, quite a bit of photo etch on that. So I've done that. That is one of our pieces that are sitting in here. Um, there's the two, one that I've got to paint black. I'll tick those off. Then we go over the page 15, which is the railing I'm doing now. So that will all be done. Then 16 is all these little pieces where all the ropes get tied off to. There's locations all along the deck. And they will have to be painted, which I think they're all green as well. Uh, so they will go on around the deck. There's a few other little other pieces in between. There even some decals, I notice, in amongst some of the stuff here. So I will keep going, but uh, this is be the end of this video for part five. And uh, you'll have to come back in part six and see that part all those bits done and because uh, this is getting up closer to the almost to the hour mark maybe a bit for a bit before for about 45 minutes so thank you for watching um, please subscribe if you haven't already um, give us a thumbs up if you like the video comment below because I like your comments if you have any tips suggestions and I've had a few which is really good um, and I look forward to uh, having you all aboard next week when we make a start on step or episode, I should say, episode six with uh, a bit more progress, hey? Okay, thanks a lot all. I'll see you all later. Bye.